Hey guys, welcome to Blue Effects. My name is Oasis, and today we have another one of those videos where we give you the three best of our intros, which means you know it's gonna be good. And we're gonna be teaching you how to use these completely free intros within After Effects in literally a couple of minutes. So if you wanna get started, please hit the link down below and download it completely for free. Literally, you don't have to put in any card information, no exchange of money. It's literally just our gift to you completely for free. We don't charge for them. So here I am in After Effects, and the first intro we're gonna be creating is this one over here, which is a really cool gaming type intro, like futuristic looking. So once you download it down below, you should have a file, and once you extract it, I mean, sorry, you should have a file that looks like this. So you head over into MOB PNG, we then select these four files and drag them into After Effects into our little project panel. Then the first thing we're gonna do is grab the base layer and drop it in our panel. We're then gonna drag the base loop at the same place and drag it so that it starts immediately after. We're then going to drag the reveal on top of that and we're going to drag the upper loop on top of that and make sure that the upper loop starts after the little uh, reveal layer. Let's just check. Yep, it's starting directly there. So let's just play through and see what we have. Okay, we can see that's happening over there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is head up here, click the text panel, uh, the text tool, sorry, and then in this panel at the bottom, let's drag a text box and then we can type in something. Let's type in fluffy socks and obviously I have my one of my fonts here which I love to use called dirty brush but let's change it for something a bit more futuristic such as maybe this let's make this let's make it all caps you know what let's make it all caps fluffy socks perfect we can then put it over here in the middle oops so this the space bar caps in the middle and then what I want to do is have it actually start at a certain point. But actually, before we do that, let's create another text. And then up here, over here, we're going to type in blue effects. And then let's just put it over here. Okay, now if we play through, obviously there's a problem here because our text is appearing before our intro. But if you keep playing through at a certain point, you'll notice that the text disappears. And it's at that point that I want you to trim the text so that it only starts there. Then we can trim the text at the end. There we go. Let's trim the text so that it ends at the same point, at the right at the end. And if we play through, literally, that's done. Blue Effects presents fluffy socks. Let's head over and let's go to our second intro that we're giving to you guys for free, which is the fire title intro. Also really cool. We drag those four files after we've extracted them into uh, after effects once again then same steps guys exactly the same we drag the base we drag the base loop to start right there after the base we drag the reveal on top of our text and then we drag the upper loop to start right after the reveal there it is then if we take a look and we just play over here let's drag our text to the start so we can time them properly if we play through, obviously the text is a problem, but at a certain point, the text disappears. And it's at this point, I want you to drag it so that it starts at that point. There we go. Now, if we play through, obviously the text is in the wrong position. So let's select this text and we'll move it over here. Select the next text and we move it over there. Let's just needs a bit of resizing. Press S on the keyboard and scale it down like this. Perfect, there we go, super simple. And now if we play through, it should be illegal to be this easy. If you guys are enjoying this, please download those intros for free right now. It's a bargain, it's completely for free. And leave a like on this video as well to show your support. Okay, the final intro, we're gonna delete everything out of our entire project, except our comp, obviously. And then let's find the ribbon template. We're then gonna drag in the blue one, we're going to drag in the lens flare and we're going to drag in the background. Let's then drag the background in on everything and over here. Then what we're going to do is drag in the the white background over here, right? Uh, the background under, sorry, I dragged in the ribbon. Let's drag in the ribbon over there and then we drag in the white background underneath. Then what I'm gonna do is actually import my logo. So here it is, my blue effects logo I've imported. So what we're gonna do is move to the point where the ribbon has completely covered the screen over here. And then we're gonna start our logo at that point. Let's put it underneath, okay. Now, if we just play on, as the thing disappears, the logo should be there. Oh, it should be above the background. There we go. So obviously, let's resize it so that it's hidden behind this. S on the keyboard. Let's rescale it a bit more over there. And now if we play through, what happens is the 
the, the ribbon moves in front of the screen and as it moves away, it reveals our logo behind it. And also, if you notice in this, the sound that you can hear, like if we play towards the end, there's a little bit of a sound. And at that point, what I want to do is actually add a bit more text over there. Okay, so then let's type in over here, subscribe below. We'll then select all of those characters. And then we're going to just resize that over there. And let's change the color to be a nice little baby blue. And then obviously, let's just put it over there. And then we'll have it appear at that point where the little zing goes off. Boom. There it is. And you can even do a small little opacity thing, you know, where you just fade it in, but I'm not going to show that right now because that's pretty simple. And the last thing we want to do is drag in our lens flare right at the start. And obviously it's black right now, so we're going to right click, go over to blending mode, and we're going to set it to screen. And right now we have once another, once again, another intro fully completed. Honestly, guys, it amazes me how simple this is and how cool this is. And the fact that we're giving it away for free is the cherry on top. So if you do enjoy this video, please leave, let us know down below, leave a comment, engage with us, follow us or subscribe down below and follow us on our social media platforms. And definitely download those, those intros down below and put them to good use. If you post it, tag us, let us see. We're always happy to see what our users and our customers are doing with our assets. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.